As I mentioned, amid all of this news on the coronavirus, we learned of the death of Herman Cain from complications of COVID-19. The businessman and maverick Republican candidate for president, he was a front runner, in fact, for a time back in 2012. One of the last times Cain was seen was at President Trump's rally in Tulsa late last month. He didn't have a mask. Of course, we don't know how he caught the virus. What we do know was that he was hospitalized July 1st and that he passed away this morning. Here's our chief White House correspondent, Jonathan Carl. Herman Cain, the former presidential candidate who tested positive for coronavirus nine days after attending President Trump's rally in Tulsa last month, has died. Local health officials had pleaded with the president to cancel the rally, where Cain appeared without a mask. The Trump Tulsa rally. I was there. Cain said the campaign took precautions, distributing hand sanitizer and checking temperatures. Even though it was a crowded room of people, if they took precautions, probably not going to be a big uptick. It's unclear if Kane was infected at the rally, but nine days later, he tested positive. And two days after that, he was rushed to the hospital in an ambulance, where he spent nearly a month. Kane grew up poor, but made a fortune in the restaurant business, the CEO of Godfather's Pizza. He launched an improbable campaign for president nine years ago with a catchy economic plan. Remember the 999 is a 9% business flat tax, 9% personal income flat tax, and a 9% national sales tax. And even more improbably, he briefly emerged as the front runner, perhaps the most successful black Republican presidential candidate in history, until his campaign was derailed by sexual misconduct allegations. Still, Kane is remembered as a political celebrity and became an enthusiastic supporter of President Trump. Just minutes ago, the president offered his condolences to the Kane family, calling Herman Kane a wonderful man and a dear friend. But, David, he made no reference to the fact that Kane tested positive for coronavirus just days after ten attending that Trump rally in Tulsa. Yeah, that was just an awful headline to hear today. John Carl, our thanks to you. To Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.